you know, nothing is quite as frustrating as facing a challenge or a stressful situation alone, that you're by yourself. It seems as though your friends have sort of deserted you, or maybe they're just not around, or don't know how to support you in that moment. And when we're going through crisis situations or tough times, it can also feel like in certain moments that God has forgotten us, that God is not around, that God is not speaking, that we have no word from Him to know how to navigate something. And so in the midst of God's silence, what feels like His lack of communication with us, we can feel like He's absent. You know, it's extremely important that we understand that the silence of God does not equate to or relate to the absence of God. Just because you feel like God is silent doesn't mean that he's absent. There's actually a period in, in biblical history, in the history of humanity, when God was very silent, but nevertheless, he was also very active. And that period is the period between the Old Testament and the New Testament. It's called the intertestamental period. It's between the ending of Malachi, that Old Testament book of Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, and the first book of the New Testament, Matthew. And there were 400 years, think about that, four centuries when there's no recorded word of God, no prophet of God speaking, 400 years of silence, we might say. But here's the question, was God absent in the midst of his silence? Of course he wasn't. In fact, the Apostle Paul reminds us in Galatians chapter 4, verse 4, but when the time was right, God sent his son, a woman, again, a woman gave birth to him. That there was this moment after these 400 years that God broke into human history and this great event, the birth of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God happened. And of course, the story unfolds of his life, his teaching, his death, his resurrection, his ascension, and the faith that we now have in him. My reminder to you today is very, very simple. If you're going through something and it feels like God is silent, please remember that just because he may be silent, he's not absent. He's still there with you. And I promise you that he's working. He's going to get you through. There'll be a time that you'll look back and say, you know what, even though I couldn't hear him at the moment, I know that he was with me. You'll see the hand of God at work in your life. His silence is not his absence.